good morning good morning and how are you i am doing good how is your day yeah it's pretty good thank you okay so i am meeting with you very first time so can you start with your introduction yeah i am tanya singh i am connecting with you from jaipur rajasthan and i am a homemaker i have a daughter she is right now in fifth standard this is all about me okay that's great okay actually i am just planning to go jaipur this uh, month at the end of this month <laughs> yeah this uh, month is uh, you can say november december january it is suitable for uh, jaipur uh, visiting okay <laughs> because summer days are very harsh days in rajasthan okay so now this time is okay then we can go there yeah you can uh, visit here because this time you can say it's a very good time mm-hmm. uh, uh, i think 4 or 5 o'clock in the evening you can get sunshine also because in delhi and cr there is a foggy weather but mm-hmm. in rajasthan there is a clear weather okay. so you can enjoy <laughs> i'll definitely do Okay, so do you want my introduction as well? Yeah. Uh, okay, so as you know, my name is Tanuja and I'm from Bhopal city. My qualification, I have done engineering from computer science and currently I'm a working professional in IT sector. I have been four years of experience in this field. Yeah, that's all about me. Okay, I have a topic. Do you want to discuss? Yes, we can. what's the topic um my topic is uh, because my husband is a teacher so <laughs> topic is related with this thing do you think teacher should be very polite or very strict because uh, both things have their advantages and disadvantages also so you can elaborate this yes definitely so yeah as you said that for every teacher it should be both quality i think to be yeah. if you are more polite then it is also not okay and if you are very strict then it is also not okay i have uh, i have experienced this thing i was teaching in a school uh, once i was in my school days also so i was kind of very polite and shy person so i never uh, you know never scolded any students for anything so my principal always uh, tells me that uh, tanuja you should you shouldn't be like too polite you should be mm-hmm. become at least a uh, little bit strict so that uh, student will understand and student will uh, listen your voice and all this thing if you are too polite then it won't work so it should be both quality i think uh, so strictness strictness is also good for every teacher yeah because some time when you are not strict some uh, uh, some kind of student take advantages yes this behavior right. mm-hmm. yes yeah, absolutely right. right but you are more strict than sometimes some student feel uncomfortable <laughs> yes yes <laughs> yes i can totally relate uh, one uh, in my school days i had one teacher she was very strict you know mm-hmm. i was kind of a studious girl so i never feel scared or something but still i was uh, scaring sometimes because of uh, her behavior because she was too strict and most of the students fear a lot from her uh, like uh, oh my god uh, teacher is coming what will ha- what would happen next and this kind of uh, you know is uh, fear we had so sometimes because of this fearness we are not able to concentrate and uh, hesitating a lot while asking any question to her so if yeah. you are too strict so i won't able to ask any question if i am facing any problem <laughs> yeah some teachers are very strict yes for example yeah, you have any doubt and uh, if you are not uh, able to speak or ask with her or uh, them so what's the point you know the, uh, when the teacher is very strict some shy children most of the shy children face these problems they yes, can't right. connect the, those type of teachers yes right because i was also a shy girl <laughs> so i have already faced this problem when the teacher was very strict yes yes uh, yeah i completely understand 
<laughs> okay, tell me something about your city because you are living in uh, MP. Yes. So, have you ever visited Bhopal? No, I never visited. Okay. So, actually, Bhopal is called a city of lakes. So, if you will get a chance to visit here, so you can see uh, so many lakes are here. If if you will ask anyone like uh, what we can visit in Bhopal, they will just say only lakes. <laughs> and we have so many other things as well, but it is very popular for lakes. And uh, yes, we have so many museums, so many malls and some ancient places as well, like temples. You must have heard about Bhojpur temple. Yeah, and Bhojpur temple and Baj Bahadur temple also. Uh, sorry, temple, not fort. It is fort, Baj Bahadur fort. Mm -hmm. Rani Rupmati fort. No, it is in not in Bhopal. Yeah, it may be in MP. Yes, and uh, some of the what can I say, Sanchi to Bhimbatika, all these places are uh, here, so you can visit here. Okay, tell me about Jaipur because I am planning to go there. <laughs> what are the places I can visit? There are so many places, and Jaipur is uh, capital city of Rajasthan. Mm -hmm. There you can enjoy so many things like you can take camel ride, horse ride when you go in Amir Fort. But Amir the Fort. timing is day timing. Mm -hmm. There is a fixed timing for uh, elephant riding and camel riding. Okay. And there is a chalky dhani place where you can see a you know small type village idea in a one glimpse. Oh. And chalky dhani has uh, so many chains in big cities like Noida. There is Chalky Haveli, but the main, uh, you know, Chalky Dhani is situated in Jaipur, where you can enjoy their uh, traditional dance like Kalbelia dance of Rajasthan. You can enjoy mm -hmm. puppet shows and, uh, you know, so many types of cuisine. Also, you can enjoy like uh, dal, bati, churma, gatte ki sabji, mm -hmm. uh, so many varieties of raita. Okay. Have you heard about raita? Yes, yes, and I love it. <laughs> and sweets are also very famous. Okay. When you come to Jaipur, you should go some uh, major markets like Tripolia Bazaar, Johari Bazaar, mm -hmm. and uh, Badi Chopper, Choti Chopper, where you can shopping so many things like traditional jewelry and uh, a different kind of lehenga that is called Poshak. Mm -hmm. That is called Poshak. You can mm -hmm. buy here in a very reasonable rate. Okay. And Mojri is also famous of uh, Jaipur. <laughs> okay. Yes, you have, you know, given a brief idea like uh, how I can plan my trip. <laughs> and when you go to Badi Chopper, there is a Hawa Mahal. <laughs> yes, I heard this name. Yeah. Hawa Mahal I is was... a very beautiful building. Mm -hmm. There you I can take so many beautiful pictures, capture pictures. Mm -hmm. Okay. And there are forts uh, like, uh, uh, I'm telling you, Amir Fort, Jal Mahal, Jagad okay. Fort, Nahargad Fort, Sheesh Mahal, and uh, Wax Museum also. And there is a doll museum also. Okay. There, there are so many kind of, uh, you can see so many kind of dolls in, in that museum. museum. Okay. Yeah. And there is a... Uh, famous mandir, Galta Devi Mandir, where okay. you can find so many monkeys. Okay. I never visited because I scared of monkeys, so I never visited. Even I, I scared it is a, a lot. And uh, I think it is a Shivji temple, mm -hmm. and there is a Bela Mandir also. Okay. They are yeah, that... not so big. Um, their area is not so big. You can visit uh, if you have three days time. You can, you know, take so uh, you can see so many things, so many forts. You can enjoy cuisine also if you have three days. <laughs> right. Yeah, I have a plan for three, four days only. <laughs> so I can visit all should. the places. Yeah. And you know, in Buddy Chopper, there are some buildings. Mm -hmm. uh, they have made their, uh, you know, house uh, like a hotel type. Okay. So the expense is very low. And they are giving, you know, good quality food. They are giving guide also. 
Okay. Because and everyone for... had their own budget, na. Mm-hmm. Some people can't afford, so uh, people of you know old Jaipur, they have made their house like a guest house type. Okay. So we can uh, stay there. If you Google, then you can find. <laughs> yes, yes, I will definitely do. Okay, mm-hmm. and uh, what's about transportation? Uh, like, for example, we have some places uh, around nearby. So, what we can take? Uh, there is metro. This is metro city also. You mm-hmm. can go by metro, and you can you know e rickshaw. Okay. E rickshaw. Yeah. E rickshaw mm-hmm. is uh, you can find everywhere. Okay, then it is good. And when you go to Amir Port, you mm-hmm. can hire a jeep. Jeep. Okay. Yeah. And there is a one temple also, Mira Bai Temple. Mm-hmm. It is only one temple of Mira Bai Temple. This is in Jaipur. Okay. Yes, that's pretty nice. <laughs> We have so many places <laughs> to visit there. And you know, their blanket. Uh, I don't know what is the particular name of the blanket of Jaipur. It is very mm. famous. Because when you uh, take this, it is in weight is very light weighted, light weighted blanket. Okay. You can uh, buy from Badi Chopper. It is very famous blanket. Mm-hmm. Jaipuri Rajai, yeah. The particular name is Jaipuri Rajai. Okay. <laughs> so we can, uh, <laughs> yes, we can explore the market as well. <laughs> yeah, and lakh to lakh bangles are very famous of Jaipur. Okay, I will show this to my family members. This video, <laughs> they will get the they will get the idea. <laughs> no, I I know everything about Jaipur. Where you should go, there are so many tourist place. But you you should have time, spare time. Yes, If you yes. have three day time, then you can uh, go everywhere. If you have only one day time, hmm. it is not sufficient. Yes, yes, we are planning for three, four days, so I think it would be sufficient to visit. And this time weather is very pleasant, so mm-hmm. it, it's my only opinion that uh, if somebody is, you know, making a plan for visiting Jaipur, it is a good time. Okay. Because summer is not good for Rajasthan. Hmm. <laughs> yes, we have heard. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, that's you know, it's a kind of brief plan. Do you have any query? <laughs> no, no, but yeah, you have given me a very this kind of intro, like what we can do and how we can. Do. In every port, there are some photographers, and they have costume also. So you okay. can wear that costume, and after that, you can click a photo also for okay. memory. Okay, in Rajasthani getup. Uh, yeah. Dress. Yeah. So, okay. <laughs> you can make your, you know, a memory that you have visited sometime in Jaipur. <laughs> yes, yes, it's a good idea. <laughs> yeah, and Amir Fort is very big fort. Okay. If you go in the daytime, you can take ride uh, elephant ride because okay. time is fixed for ele- because when I have to, I will, I go that time. You know, elephant was not available for riding. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay, so you have and, uh, mm-hmm. you have done this riding uh, on uh, camel or elephant. I have done only camel ride. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Because that time elephant was not available for riding. Okay, that's. You know, sometimes it happens. Hmm hmm hmm. I haven't uh, done any kind of riding. Uh, this kind of riding. <laughs> If I'll do, it would be my first time. You come to Jaipur. It is the place of you know um, uh, palaces, and hmm. Jaipur is the city of lakes. Okay. There are so many lakes in Udaipur. Yes. Yeah, and Jaipur is called Pink City, and Jodhpur is called Blue City because most of the houses you can find in Jodhpur in mm-hmm. blue color. Okay. And same and as Jaipur. And you go Jaipur to is... Jaisalmer, you can enjoy. You know, there is a desert area also in Jaisalmer, and some forts are also available in Jaisalmer. Is also good. I have visited. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay. Yes, I have heard so many things about these places, <laughs> and I was, uh, you know, googling all these things like uh, what are the places we can visit, and you have given me a brief idea. 
yeah there are so many palaces you can visit and you should go you know at once uh, chauki dhani also mm-hmm. it's a very good place okay there are some dancers they are perform kalbeliya dance some traditional dance also you can enjoy you can eat also <laughs> yes <laughs> and yeah, so many varieties of food if you are a food lover <laughs> then you should go chauki dhani also <laughs> yes so uh, is there any uh, you know famous food uh, like in rajasthan that is different yeah famous food is dal bati churma gatte ki sabzi and ker sangri ki sabzi and uh, there is a kind of khichdi but mm-hmm. that is called khichda Okay. in khichda they add some uh, sugar type thing like bura okay and it is in taste uh, sweet mm-hmm. okay and uh, i think i have observed that the food is some um, spicy also they use red <laughs> red chili, chili dry red chili <laughs> <laughs> i love spicy food <laughs> they use red chili okay in tadka hmm okay. in every dal they use so uh, quantity of uh, cumin after that they add red chili hmm. and they do bagar yes yes it's a kind of rajasthan is a very good city because hmm. um, when you go to delhi ncr there is crime rate very high but when you come to rajasthan i think it's a very good city mm-hmm. but when you go in a crowded place you should be careful uh, with the thieves yes other I... way i have never faced this type of problem mm-hmm. so you visited delhi as well uh, i am also belong from delhi ncr so i have visited all delhi <laughs> Okay, <laughs> I have also visited, so that's why I asked. Because you know, right now Delhi weather or NCR weather is not good. Mm-hmm. It's the foggy weather, and uh, some most of the um, I have heard that uh, people and children are facing some breathing problem also. Yes, because of pollution, right? Yeah. So mm-hmm. I think I... this time is not suitable for going Delhi NCR. Yes, right. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, yes. I have heard this news so many times. <laughs> and then you come to Rajasthan or any other uh, city like uh, Jaipur, any other city, you should mm-hmm. buy some uh, some kind of uh, chunri chunni uh, dupatta. That mm-hmm. is called tie and dye dupatta, chunri print, and uh, um, lehria print. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> and yes. there is a famous market where you can buy lehenga sari. There is Purohiji ka katna. Okay. <laughs> I think it is situated near Tripolia Bazaar. It is very famous market. Everyone know Purohiji ka katla. If you want to purchase like some beautiful sarees, beautiful lehenga, mm-hmm. uh, you can go there. <laughs> yes, yes. Right. We'll try. I to... think you should note this name Purohiji ka katla. It is a very mm-hmm. famous place for oh. buying any. Uh, chunni any dupatta okay <laughs> yes yes <laughs> we'll definitely try to go there <laughs> if 3 days it sufficient then uh, i th- uh, i can visit all these places in 3 days yeah you can visit okay first of all you should note down all the places where you want to go mm-hmm. and some uh, you can google also after that you can decide where you have to go Yes, right. Because you know, <laughs> when we are going in unknown place, we have make some plan also. Yes, And right. It's my habit. I always note down in the copy. After mm-hmm. that, I will make plan. Yeah, we always do this thing because we already plan uh, which place we have to visit first and what is your uh, what is our priority. <laughs> <laughs> like Amir Fort, you can visit uh, four uh, four palaces like Amir Fort and uh, Jagar Fort. They are very near. Okay. okay and uh, there is a nahargarh fort also where you can find shish mahal and uh, wax museum and nahargarh fort three palaces are there okay 
if they are near so yes yeah and chauki dhani is a different place it is kind of a resort you can say okay <laughs> and for uh, for shopping you should visit tripolia bazaar yeah and bapu <laughs> bazaar also famous i forget the name bapu bazaar it is very okay. famous hmm <laughs> hmm yes now i think i have given so much information where you have to go or not <laughs> yes <laughs> and we if we are you know uh, listening uh, live where we can mm-hmm. go and all this thing so it is pretty nice idea and i haven't thought about this <laughs> yesterday only i was just you know searching this thing and suddenly you met like you are from jaipur <laughs> you know this type of print you can find everywhere okay. uh, this is called i think uh, bandhani print bandhani <laughs> Okay, yeah. <laughs> it is famous there, right? Yeah, Bandhani Print, Lahiria, they are very mm. famous. Okay, and you can so, find a different kind of uh, dupatta that is called uh, Marwadi dupatta, you can say, and mm-hmm. uh, Shekhauti dupatta. They are they are different. Shekhauti mm-hmm. dupatta is different, and mm-hmm. uh, uh, Marwadi dupatta is different. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yes, so it uh, like Jaipur is a reasonable city. Uh, it's not too expensive. No, not you know it depends. Uh, like you are uh, renting which type of place. Like if you are going in a big hotel, expenses hmm. you you know very high. Yes. So everyone hmm. have made their budget. Hmm. Right. Yes. Yes. i think this situation you can face in every city hmm 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 it depends on you yes how yeah. you tackle this <laughs> <laughs> yes but uh, you know sometimes we listen about some of the cities who uh, that are very expensive uh, as we feel uh, i don't know uh, it is true or not or it depends on person to person as well i think actually you know when you go in the market place you know sometimes shopkeepers identify you that you are not a uh, you know you are not a local you, localized not, uh, you are not a local person mm-hmm. after that i think they can charge you high mm-hmm. yes so it happens you everywhere that you are yeah so you should pretend that you are a local person <laughs> because yeah. you know so many uh, uh, so many foreigners every year come here jaipur mm-hmm. yes so that is the region i think hmm. yes and uh, these are the places uh, like mostly people comes there if you are you are showing that you are very curious to buy this after that they will identify easily that it is not <laughs> local <laughs> yeah right <laughs> you should pretend that you are aware of everything <laughs> yes yes <laughs> right. i think this is a very good tip for uh, bargaining hmm Correct. If you are going in any place, if you show that you are very uh, you are very curious to know about this thing, they will easily identify that you are not a local. <laughs> yes. <laughs> if we are pretending like we, uh, you know, yeah. the first time we are watching this thing and it is quite different or something, uh, so they can easily identify. <laughs> yeah. After applying this idea, you can bargain uh, very well. I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and you can um, you can take estimate from google also because i think everything is right now available on google after yes, that right. you can know mm-hmm. yes absolutely right yeah. yes we if we you know watch so many things and we get lot of new ideas like what we can do where we can visit and what would be the suitable uh, transportation and all these things yeah like you are buying some traditional jewelry you can google it on go- you can google it mm-hmm. after that you should buy because sometimes yes. they charge very high hmm right and some traditional attire like uh, poshak you should i think google it uh, after that you should buy because mm. there are you know two type quality some qualities are very cheap it is not mm. good Oh, you should Google it. <laughs> right, right. 
Mm-hmm. I think it's enough. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we have. I have learned so many things <laughs> about Jaipur, especially. <laughs> When you go anywhere of India, you never pretend that you are not a local. You are local. Mm-hmm. If they identify that you are not, uh, you are not a local. After that, they will charge high. Everything. Yes, correct. If you are, if you are hiring a rickshaw, also they will take. You know, uh, if there is a fifty rupee, they will charge hundred rupees. It is a fact. Yes. Yeah, right. It happens. <laughs> <laughs> And right now there are so many facilities we are consuming, like Google Map. So hmm. we can use this technology also. Yes, if you know, if you know that how far this place is, so you can uh, estimate the cost as well. Yeah. Like uh, what can mm-hmm. be the suitable cost for this? Yes. And the metro is going uh, Man Sarovar to Badi Chopper. Yeah. Man Sarovar to Badi Chopper. I think the ticket price will be maximum. I think eighty rupees. Hmm. It's a maximum price. I think. Okay. <laughs> I will but it is on. not. But uh, Jaipur Metro is not busy like uh, Delhi NCR Metro. Okay. Mm-hmm. Because when you go in Delhi NCR Metro, it's all time you know full of crowd. Yes, I have faced this thing <laughs> so many times. <laughs> but in you Jaipur, know. you never faced this thing. Mm, yes, right. Uh, in initial days, I faced lot of difficulties uh, when I went to Delhi. so it was my first time that i was using uh, metro so i faced lot of difficulties especially crowd when i see this crowd so uh, sometimes Because... it happened like i you know i was not able to get down from the metro and i get, get down in another uh, station after that so <laughs> it happened with me so many times <laughs> because there is a you know very dense connectivity of metro you can give, go everywhere like uh, noida Mm-hmm. uh hudda city center also yes airport also so many you know mm mm-hmm. so yeah all, right all time you, it looks very crowded <laughs> yeah and in jaipur i think there is seven or eight metro station only okay <laughs> then it so is it is a difference <laughs> <laughs> yeah uh i think uh, today's session we should you know uh it's uh, 28 minutes <laughs> uh, yes <laughs> how time flies yeah it's a very good session with you <laughs> yeah same and yeah i got lot of information from you <laughs> thank you so much for this i hope you also enjoy his conversation yeah definitely and thank okay. you so much for joining Have a nice day. Have a nice day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.